Hey, what's up? I got a lady that asked me if I could put a little more detail into a bed, and I, she sent me a picture, and I'll post a picture of what she sent me up, and I told her I could probably do something pretty close to it, <clears throat> and I'm like the worst. I love this traffic going by. I'm the worst at organization, but this is like going to be huge, so what I've done is I've labeled everything as I've cut it out and just made nice little neat stacks of everything. And uh, what I've got here is nine, a little over 17 foot long boards. And this, this is the scrap left from it. So it's, it's pretty massive. What I did is I just drew out um, kind of sort of like a little list of what everything's going to be and the headboard and the footboard are basically going to be the same so I just drew that and then one side and then labeled all the boards and counted up everything I was going to need inches wise this is going to be a king size bed so I've got that um, all my 2 by 8s cut out and then I've got my center support cut here um, out of a 2 by 4 and that'll be because king size beds have two box springs and what I'm going to do is make a little notch for those to sit in that is going to go across so the two by is going to wind up sitting in a notch that just goes down that'll make it nice and easy to go in and then these are my four by fours for legs but um it's going to be a pretty big project i think but uh anyway i was just going to start the video here because there's no need to see me cut boards and stuff but I'll get this thing put together in a few days and I'll hopefully the progress will go pretty smoothly. All right, I've uh, just put this footboard together. Um, I had to do a few changes just because uh, I was counting two by eight. Um, just when I did my drawing, I was counting it, you know, being eight inches and they're about seven and a quarter. So I wound up putting 11 of these back panels across on this king size instead of 10. So kind of just had to fidget with some stuff, but I got it coming out. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, and I've just, I first went through on these 32 inch boards that I cut here and just screwed them into this 80 inch board. And then I come to the front and get all this trim out on the rest of that. And then just put this little landing on the top here. Um, just, I don't know, every 15 inches or so, put a couple of screws in there. Um, and then I've got the legs set. And the way that that's going to work, it's got three boards on the side. And the top and the bottom board will fit flush up against this wall. And that middle board, I've got it cut to where it'll fit flush here. And it'll be on the same level as the top of this. So when you run your slats across, it'll be all nice and smooth. Um, and there's a just a one inch gap from the bottom of the footboard to the leg just to make it a little easier in case the floor is on level or something where the bed's going. And then on this notch system back here, pretty super easy. Um, just those boards I cut. I laid a two by four all the way across and then just marked a straight line there and measured um, like 37 and a half inches or so as a center. So centered that up. And then I left a two inch gap there to give me just a little bit of wiggle room. Sorry, a little bit of wiggle room. So it's nice and easy to go in. And like I said, there'll be another one of these on the headboard. It'll run all the way across and I'll have a little leg going to the ground from that, um, for that. And the headboard's gonna look just like this, uh, except these end boards right here are gonna run all the way down to the floor, you know, obviously, because the headboard's gonna be higher than the footboard. Um, it's gonna be really, really heavy uh, overall height on this wind up being 34 and a half inches tall and I'll post some measurements but I mean I'm just kind of doing this as I go but it's come along pretty good pretty good 
Okay, just got everything put together on this. Still got to sand it, but everything's put together. And I'll uh, post some measurements up, but just go through them real quick. The board that runs this way below the landing on the headboard and the footboard are 80 inches. Um, these boards here are 25 inches, the vertical runners here. These, <clears throat> you're going to have to do a little bit of playing because I had actually have it set up two different ways but they're about 17 inches um each on that it's a little the middle section on the back is a little bit bigger and the two sides are a little shorter but i'll get to that in a second um let's see okay here's the back of the footboard these are 32 inches on the headboard and the footboard on this inside uh, there's how that little notch worked out when I did that on the back. This board that I just connected there and there, you could do it different, but I just kind of pocket screwed those in both there. This is 65 and a half, 65 and three quarters, somewhere in there. Um, this is the length of there to there, which happened to be about 84 inches. Um, same thing on the headboard, except these on the ends are 54 inches because they run all the way to the ground. I got 11 inch 4x4s here. I should have went a little bit higher than that. Um, and that's why I had to kind of scab this up so I'd have something to screw to on the outside. What I've done here, uh, let's get out a little bit. Uh, as you can see, that's just three. Okay, so on the sides here, I've got three two by eights, and I cut the center one about seven inches shorter than the other two, so it wouldn't come flush up with that. Let's see if I can show you on the outside what happened here. And this reveal here is just a two by three um, that I spaced that with, and then just come through and screw top and bottom here and there on those. Um, what else have I got? Uh, that's really it, you know, just screwed these down to the top here and there. And uh, just put some slats on it and sand it and it'll be done. 